Good morning, everybody. As you can see, it is race day. F1 today out of Monaco. I've got my racing shirt on. Hope this finds you well. Happy Sunday. It is episode 10 of my weekly Sunday musings. And well, I'm going to have a barbecue today. Best way to uh, enjoy the races. Also inviting some friends over. So going to have a Texas barbecue. You may recall from episode 3 that I talked about uh, Stubbs barbecue sauce and I think it was Clausen's. And here's the, here's the Stubbs product. Now you can see it's actually used. So uh, my beef is uh, marinating, uh, it has been marinating overnight, getting ready to uh, prep the other items here. Got a barbecue at about two o'clock this afternoon, just in time for the races. So I'm preparing some other items. Uh, this is one of my favorite Italian cookbooks. Um, I'm gonna start out with some uh, fresh fruit salad. Actually, this recipe uh, comes from uh, a website. It's called, uh, well, it's a Southern version of uh, fruit salad. Um, really, really good. It's at about.com and it's by Deanna Rattray. Okay, don't ask me about the last name. R-A-T-T-R-A-Y. And um, that's going to be really good. I went to the vegetable and fruit market yesterday and picked up some really great stuff. So you're going to see some of my um, running around town video uh, in Rotterdam from yesterday. That was really cool. Today's musing uh, is about made in China. Now this is a book that I picked up um, from the Louisiana Museum. In 2007, Tapani and I went there and there was an exposition on Chinese modern art, which I really, really enjoyed. Maybe you can see, here's a piece that I, I really, really like um, here. That's a piece by, um, let's see, Zhang Zhaogang. Um, Zhang is uh, a last name. Now the Chinese always put their last name first. The reason I brought this out is because in the latest edition of Wallpaper Magazine, which uh, Tapani gave me a subscription to, and I really, really like it, it's a fashion design and architecture, say, lifestyle magazine. Um, this edition is called Made in China, and the team actually set up shop. Normally, they are based in London, and then they have, um, you know, the journalists from around the world and what have you, but um, they actually moved to Shanghai and Beijing and produced this edition of their magazine totally from offices there so it's insights into everything China and believe it or not again the title is made in China and it's talking about things like architecture here's a great uh, picture this is a multi multi-use uh, a building maybe some of you saw the bird's nest um, in Beijing the stadium there that was really cool um, obviously China is um, at the leading edge of what's happening in the world today. And I think oftentimes people uh, feel a bit threatened by China. And I don't think that's necessary. Now, I've been doing business with China since 1997. And I've been over there several times and I have Chinese colleagues. I work for a Chinese American company, <clears throat> excuse me, company. And um, from what I can tell, you know, they're just people like us. Sure, they have a different culture. A culture that's existed for thousands of years and I think you know a culture that's been around as long as that there's certainly some wisdom there and even though things may be slightly different from the ways that we're used to in our Western culture I think there's a lot we can learn so I would just invite everybody to get to know a little bit more about the country and the more you get to know you the more you find that there's really great things there whether it's architecture or art um, also Chinese medicine um, this is showing some of the traditional medicine. Um, Chinese traditional medicine or CTM is actually adopted in a lot of the hospitals, even in the West now. You know, there's a, a bit of a, a blend between the two. So I think the cultures can, can learn from each other. And of course, yeah, we don't have to talk about the, the economic trade. Um, China being one of the largest uh, trade partners with the United States or the United States with China. Um, a lot of the goods that, that are bought, I don't have to tell you that, are made in China, uh, bought in the States. And Walmart, I think Walmart contributes about, I don't know, one or two percent of the, G the GDP in, <coughs> sorry, a bit of a cough, uh, GDP in China. Um, one of the places that you can go and, and look at, one of the great shops there, this is a picture of the, the CEO for Shanghai Tang, T-A-N-G, Shanghai Tang. Um, it's a really cool, um, I guess uh, fashion accessories shop, 
clothing. Um, I've been there a couple times. There's like 39 different boutiques in and around uh, China and Asia. And I think they'll probably start popping up uh, here in the West. There's probably one already in London. But you should really check it out. This is a copy of their uh, print hat in this edition uh, for Shanghai Town. Uh, at any rate, they have um, some men's accessories and uh, men's fashion accessories as well. I have a couple of um, links, cufflinks from them. I was about to tell you uh, the, the Dutch word for it, but that wouldn't make sense to a lot of you. So um, this is kind of neat, kind of uh, a picture of youth culture uh, and fashion in China. Um, I've got a couple more here. here. Actually, this is a great addition. I hope you can pick it up uh, at your newsstand and just kind of leaf, leaf through it, if you will. Um, yeah, and that's really all I wanted to say is that you know China is not a, a threat in in the the way that some people would have us think that China is. Um, I think it's a matter of engagement, needing to engage that culture, begin to understand it. It's a new century, folks. And China is going to have a lot to do um, with the future, as well as the other BRIC uh, economies. That's uh, Brazil, Russia, India, and China. Um, I think there's a lot of great things that we can learn. Um, I think we need to begin to develop a greater, let's say, global understanding of cultures, um, because that's ultimately uh, our future. And learning to live together on this one planet that we've got and making sure we take care of it um, for all our sakes. So that's it for me. I'm going to go ahead and turn it over to my uh, video uh, compilation for this week. I hope you enjoy it and that you have a great weekend. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.